Standing tall, standing straight. The legs firm, shoulders rolled back. Press down into the feet. Visualize roots growing to the center of the earth. Growing up from that, feeling a new stability. And from the crown of the head, roots of light reaching up to the sky. And the vehicles that we're in, links between earth and sky, sky and earth. The eyelids gently closing, the chin lowering towards the heart. Opening this practice with the sacred sound of all. Inhale. Oh. And then the chin lifting gently. The eyes opening. And reaching the arms up to the sky. Udvahasthasana. Stretching up more and more, press down into the feet, reach up higher. And exhaling forward, Uttanasana. Let the head go, let the brain go. And find the power of those legs as you press down, grip the thighs up. And stepping back to plank pose. And bending the knees lightly, but lifting the navel up with an exhale. I'll touch the back. And back to plank pose. And then again, knees bending down, and lift the muscles of the abdomen up. I'll touch the back. Back to plank pose. And one more time. Knees down, abdominal muscles tight. I'll touch the back. And now push yourselves forward a little bit and coming up to Urdha Mukhasvarasana. Keeping the knees on the mat for this first one, roll the thighs in towards each other. Feel the buttocks separate and then press the middle buttocks down and lift the pubic bone up. Push into the hands to get taller and taller and taller. And then rolling over the feet and finding Adha Mukhasvarasana with our heels lifted. Heels lifted so that the buttocks, the sit bones, can find a nice high height so that the lower third of the spine can really extend. And now looking up, walking the feet forward. Uttanasana, the feet are still spread, hip distance apart. Look at those kneecaps, grip the butt with the thighs. And then inhale the arms up, Uddhasana. And through Namaskar. And releasing, and now set the feet together, Tarasana. Inhale the arms up, Udvahasthasana. And bending the knees, sitting back, Utkatasana. Now jump the feet, hip distance apart. Jumping Utkatasana nice and low. Make the heels firm. And back in. And back out. And back in. One last one, and back out. And back in. And over the front thighs, straighten the legs, Uttanasana. And jumping or stepping back to plank pose, firm. And jump the feet out and in. And out and in. Get that strength. And out, ignite it. And in. And then bend the knees down, but don't collapse, Chaturanga. And back up. And second one, Chaturanga. And back up. Third and final one, Chaturanga. Now push yourselves forward a little bit. And this time, try to lift the knees up by pressing into the tops of the feet, activating the legs even more. 
Look at your hands, widen the palms, widen the fingers, and press down to lift up even more. Shoulders back. And rolling over the feet. Thailand Adam Kashvarasan with our heels lifted again. Push the shins back, push the thighs back. And push yourselves away from your hands. And now try to press the heels down and keep the buttocks lifted. And then looking up, jump or step, feet together. Exhaling over the legs, Uttanasana, grip those thighs up. Sitting back, inhale the arms up, Urvastasana, and three arms up, Tarasana. Inhale the arms up, Urvastasana. Sitting back, Utkatasana. And jump apart, jumping Utkatasana. And back in. And back out. Press into those heels, sit back. And back in. And back out. And back in. Utkatasana. Rip the legs, broaden the shoulders, relax the neck and head completely. And then looking up and jumping back, Chaturanga, and back up. Jump the feet apart, and back in. Again, Chaturanga, and back up. Jump the feet apart, and back in. Chaturanga, and up. Jump the feet apart, and back in. Straight to Adho Mukha Shanasana with the feet together. Heels down, press the front thighs back, lift the buttocks higher. Push yourselves backwards away from the hands. And then looking up and step the right leg forward, straightening the legs, Pashvatanasa. Turn those hips. And looking up, jumping, change sides. Parshvatanas. And looking up, jumping, change sides. Parshvatanas. Look at your back leg. Make sure the front thigh, the back leg is rolling in to help the hips really turn to the front and grip the quadriceps of the front leg. And looking up, Pashvatanasa. And looking up, jumping, Pashvatanasa. Right leg forward, left leg back. Looking up, last one, jumping, changing sides. Pull the femurs into the hip sockets, grip the legs. And then looking up, stepping back, Adho Mukha normal Adho Mukha the feet, the width of the hips. Press the heels down, lift the inner arches. Look at your front thighs, press the front thighs back. Lift the buttocks higher. Broaden those shoulders.
We're going to go from downward dog to upward dog with the exhale. Yoga Kurunda. Six times. Here we go. And back to downward dog. And downward dog. Three more times. One more time. Inhale, looking up, jumping forward, feet together. Exhale, over the legs. Sitting back. Utkatasan, lift those arms up. Utkatasan, two, go lower. Utkatasan, one. Utkatasan, two. Utkatasan, one. Utkatasan, two. Utkatasan, one. Utkatasan. And hands down. Okay, time to grab some blocks and get back on the mat for some lorasana, strengthening the arms a little bit. So two blocks, then you're back on the mat. So we've got our two blocks, which we're going to be using in a bit. That's uh, so all opening up the arms a little bit more before we work in lorasana. So just have them on the side and be seated in Madrasana. I'll just move right behind so you can really see clearly. Parashatasana Madrasana, interlock the fingers, turn the palms out, press the shoulders down and lift those arms up. Clear the energy from the armpits, clear the energy from crookedness in the arms, really straighten the elbows, lift up, push the hands to the sky, that's it. And then the arms coming back down, change the interlock, turn the palms out, and again, inhale and lift up. Press the thighs down, root them down to the center of the earth, and reach the hands up to the sky. And exhaling down. Now, widen the knees apart just a little bit so that your thighs can receive your side ribs, the right ribs on the right thigh, the left ribs on the left thigh, and coming forward, ribs on the thighs, forehead to the mat. Now bring the hands behind you, interlock your fingers together, and lift the arms up, continue with our shoulder openers. Now invert the hands, turning the palms up to the sky, pressing up to the sky. Good, and then bring the hands back in, back down in order to change the interlock. And to lift the arms back up. And then invert the hands, press the palms up to the sky. And then turn the palms back in and bring the arms back down. Rolling back up. Now let's bring our blocks in. Well, I'm going to move my box forward. You're going to have them right by the side of me, and I'm just moving them forward so you can see what's happening next. We're coming up onto our knees, 
and Shimhasana. We're lifting the left uh, leg up and we're placing the left shin on the right calf. Okay, the toes are pointing back. And when we sit down, we'll be sitting on the left heel and our left knee is higher than our right. So this stretches out the foot, the calf, all kinds of areas, depending on where you're tight, of course. And then bringing those blocks in. Then pressing down with our hands into the blocks and using our core to lift the legs up. Lorasana. Ready? With the exhale. And back down. And again. And back down. One more time. And back down. And we're going to change sides and coming forward. Releasing, and now the right leg coming up, the right shin pressing into the left calf. As we sit back, the toes going back. As we sit back, we're sitting on that right heel, and the right knee is lifted. Press down into it. Each leg will feel different. If you're getting a cramp, which can happen because the calves can hold a lot of cramps, just come out to massage and then come back in. All right, ready? Low lasan, three times with the exhale. And down, and down, really lifting the mula bandha there from the perennial up. And down, good, having the block slide forward, releasing, and just moving the blocks to the side, widening the knees apart again, shoulder openers, ribs on the thighs, coming forward, bring the arms behind, interlock the fingers, the thumbs pressing against each other, lift those arms back up. So the second time we'll be able to access even deeper parts of the shoulder blades, the upper back, the shoulders. And now bring the arms to the right. So you feel the front of the left shoulder really stretching open. And now back to the middle and to the left. So the front of the right shoulder really stretching open. And back to the middle and halfway down, change the interlock of the fingers and the lift back up. And to the right. And back to the middle. Almost there. And to the left. Use that bottom arm to pull the top arm across. And back to the middle. And then exhale, releasing the arms down. With an exhale, relax completely. And then rolling back up. I've lost my mic. Let's put it back in here. There we go. Is it the right way? Yes. Good. And Vajrasana. All right, we're coming back to the last hand. So coming forward, lift the left leg up and press the left shin down on the right calf, firmly flattening it. That's it. Ironing out the tension we hold in our calves. And then let's go on the highest height of the bricks this time. So we're going to lift to the lasan three times and then come down. And then we're going to lift to the lasan once, extend the legs out in front, and come back changing the side of our lasan. Okay, so first three lifts. Ready? With your exhale, with the mula bandha. Here we go. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to lift, extend the legs straight, and then come back in, changing the lolasana. Here we go, lifting first. And then, utita dandasana. 
And when we come back in, we're changing the Lulasan, so the right shin is pressing against the left half, and we change sides. Okay, we're doing three times, and then lifting up, extending, and changing sides again. Ready? Here we go. Good, and now we're lifting up, extending, Lucita Dandasa, and coming in, changing sides. All right, now we're going to lift and rock, like a dangling earring, Lulasan. Let's actually enjoy kind of the rockiness of this pose. So still on the highest height, lifting with the exhale. And swing a little bit, that's it, three, two, and one, and back down. And now we're going to lift, extend the legs, and come back in, changing sides. Ready? With the exhale. Utita Dandasa. And change sides. And back down. Now we're going to lift and swing, and come down. Here we go. And swinging. Three, two, and one, coming down. Now we're going to lift, extend the legs, and change sides. Ready with the exhale. Extend, and change sides. Coming back down. Okay, and now we're going to lift, extend, come back in, change sides. And from there, go to a chaturanga, an upward dog, a downward dog, and then back to the last one on the same side that we left on. And then we'll lift, extend, change sides, chaturanga, upper dog, downward dog, and come back in to the original side. All right, I'm with you. So the left shin is on the right calf. Ready? With the exhale, lift, extend, change, and down, forward, plank, exhale, forward, up, Udamuka. Adamuka. And then we're bending the knees, coming down, and the right shin is going on the left half. And back to Shimhasan. Lolasan. Extend the legs. Change side. Left shin on the right. Still lifting. Coming down. Forward. Plank this. Exhale, Chaturanga. Urda Mukha. Adamukha. Bending the knees. Left shin on the right calf. Shimhasana. Lifting. Lolasana. Whoop. And Dandasana. And changing side. Keep lifting, and down. Chaturanga. Urdha Mukha. Ardha Mukha. And down, the right shin over the left. Shinhasa. Ready, and lifting. Extending. Changing. Left shin over the right now. And down. Chaturanga. Urdha Mukha. Ardha Mukha. And bending the knees. Left shin over the right. This is our third and final set. Are we ready? With the exhale, lifting up. Extend. Change sides. Keep lifting. And down. Chaturanga. You got this. With the exhale. Urdhamukha. Adhamukha.
and then bending the knees, coming down. Right shin over the left, we're finishing off our third and final sequence. So from Shimhasana, with the exhale, lifting Mulabandha, here we go. Uttitadandasana, changing sides, lift, coming down, come on, last Chaturanga. And then gently releasing and coming down, knees to the mat, Vajrasana. One more little shoulder open as I'm just moving the blocks, widen the knees apart just a little bit to receive the ribs. Coming forward, bring the hands behind, interlock the fingers, lifting up. To the right. And to the middle, and to the left. And to the middle, changing the interlock. Being in the centre here, pulling the arms higher and higher above you into the sky. And to the right. To the middle and to the left. And to the middle. And then bringing the arms back down and releasing them completely. Child's pose. Deep inhalation. Deep exhalation. And then roll it back up. Watch us. And out. Okay, it's now time for a very light shishasan, just to really heat the spine. So, you know, move the blocks out of the way. If you like to use a wall, take a wall. Otherwise, fold your mat up, take a blanket. Everything you like to use for Shishasan, and let's meet back on the mat for that. All right, let's come into this royal inversion. Setting the arms up, not letting the elbows go too wide, of course. Crown of the head to the floor, not the forehead. Crown of the head, it's further back than we think. Straightening the legs. And coming in and up to Shirasa. Keep charging those legs, reaching up to the sky with the soles of the feet, the roots to the centre of the earth, and now coming out of the head, the skull, and the forearms, which are pressing down, rooting and grounding, in order to better lift up.
lifting the shoulders up to let the neck get short. Almost there. And now let's lower the legs. And Yogudrasan Vajrasan. Back of the neck long. Stretch the arms, broaden the shoulders. And then coming back up. And now it's time for some Shalabhasan work. So we have a blanket. If you were using the wall, come away from the wall. And the blanket will be for our pubic bones. We're going to lie down on the blanket. Roll the thighs in. Prepare that action. Stretch the arms forward and widen the feet, just hip distance apart for this first variation. All the Shalabhasans in star formation. So we're lifting the right leg and the left arm. And down, changing sides. And down, changing sides. And down, changing sides. And down, changing sides. So thinking length. It's not just lifting, but it's the length. And down, changing sides. And down, changing sides. And changing sides. And changing sides. Right leg, left arm. Lengthening away from each other. And changing sides. And down, releasing. Bring the arms in, feel the forearms. Roll the thighs in, bring the legs closer. And bend that right leg. Ikka Palavikasana. Placing the hand on the foot, pressing the foot down towards the outside edge of your right hip, towards the floor right by it. Feel the front thigh stretch open as you press the foot down, that's it too. And one, releasing, changing side. Left hand on the foot, pressing that foot down. That's it, press into it, three, and two, and one. And releasing, and coming back down. Roll the thighs in again, and this time have the feet close. Arms by the side of the body, palms facing up to the sky. Lift the head up slightly and roll the shoulders back strongly. And from that action, the arms will lift easily. Okay, Adha Shalabhasan, no star formation, just Adha, we're lifting the upper half of the body and the arms up. Ready and lift. And down halfway. And lift. 
and down hovering. And lift. And down halfway. Now we're going to lift and cross our thumbs behind our back and then pulse and lift with the thumbs crossed. Here we go. Lift. Roll those shoulders back. That's the start of the arms. Bring the arms back, the hands back, cross the thumbs. Make your legs firm. Now pulse. That's it. Pulse. That's it. And three. And two. And one. Releasing. Remember the cross of your thumbs. So we're going to change sides. The first coming down, giving a little break, a little rest. Okay, recharge the legs. Turn off the mat. Front shoulders rolling back. Arms lifting. And ready. Lifting. Arms behind. Change the cross of the thumb. Press your feet into the mat. And ready. Let's pulse. That's it. And three. And two. And one. Coming down. And releasing. And resting. Back onto the forearms. Roll the thighs in. Ikapada Picasa. Stretching that front thigh out. Press down. That's it. Remember the second time. We can always get deeper than we think. The fear is that the body knows what you're, what you're doing. Good. And releasing, changing sides. And releasing. Roll the thighs in again. We remind them of their direction. Coming down. Okay, we're going to do Alada Danurasan. So, bend the legs. Reach for your ankles with both hands. Flex the feet. So the toes are pointing down to the mat. Press those front thighs down. Press the middle buttocks down. And ready. Hoist yourselves up by having the shins move back. That's it. Shoulders back. Keep pressing the buttocks down. I want to lift up. Don't let them lift up. Press them down. That's it. Good. And five, four, three, two, and one. Coming down and releasing. It's hard to densify those thighs to keep them pressed down into the ground. Breathe. All right, now we're going to bring our hands to the ankles, we're going to point our toes and we're going to lift up so the thighs will be leaving the ground. Ready, taking hold of the ankles, pointing the toes, roll those shoulders back, but still press the buttocks down. So the tailbone pressing down and the arching is coming from the middle and upper back, harder, not from the lower back, which is the easiest place to get the arch, but the most unhealthy place to get the arch from. So here we go, lifting. That's the legs pulling back. Now with an exhale over to the right. Back to the middle. To the left. Back to the middle. And come down and release. Back onto the forearms. Our third set of Ikapara Vikasa. Bring that right leg and press it down. And releasing. Changing side. And releasing. And we slowly make our way out and sit back in Vajrasana. Bhagavatasana Vajrasana, arms in front, interlock the fingers, stretch up, use this pose now to get a straight spine. So avoid overarching tendencies in the lower back for those of you who have that. 
tailbone down, pubic bone lifting, straighten the spine, bolt the outer hips, lift up, and two, and one, bring the arms down, change the interlock, turn the palms out, lift up, scoop the pubic bone up, don't let it drop, don't arch the lower back, scoop it up, lift up, that's it, and three, and two, and one, and bring the arms down, so the microphone is getting in the way, and let's just take this blanket, have it behind us in case we need it for this next pose, come onto the hands and knees, lift the left knee up, cross the left knee completely behind the right, don't worry, I'm not taking us back to our lalasans, and come and sit either on the mat or on the blanket if your knees are far apart from each other, you definitely want to be sitting on this blanket, to help the knees be close, widen the feet apart, away from each other. A little yoga with us having for you to ease out any restrictions in the lower back. Walking those hands forward. Even out the breath now. Make it long, make it deep, and send each exhale to the back hips, to the lower back, broadening, releasing. And now to the right. And then to the left. And then back up. And onto our hands and knees. We are changing sides. Mm, that does feel so incredible, doesn't it? Right knee behind the left. Widen the feet apart. Sitting on the blanket or the mat. I'm going to move because for me it's better on the, on the mat. And then look at your feet and widen them. They shouldn't touch, ideally, the outer edges of the thighs. I'm trying to get them away. Try to have them even. And we're exhaling forward, yoga, mudrasa. Now there's a tendency in this pose to let the arms go passive, the elbows bent. Make sure that's not happening. The arms are straight, extended, alert, and push into the hands to push the hips back as you go forward. And now we're going to go to the left, reaching forward, twisting, extending. And now it's time to come to the right, again extending and twisting at the same time, that dual motion. And then coming up, always coming out of this pose by coming forward and releasing. And it is now time for a little style by Gassan with a few variations. So go ahead and grab a minimum of three blankets if your shoulders are really tight and go five blankets and perhaps a strap. And let's meet back on the mat for this final little part of our practice. So I'm using full blankets and I have them 
position so that this is a slight diagonal slant to support my leg and my neck. <laughs> so I'm using four blankets and I have, of course, all the neat edges together and my neck is going to slide and be on these neat edges and then kind of on a diagonal, you can see. And then we have the strap ready on the side and the loop of the strap wants to go from one inner armpit to the other. I'm just having that ready and waiting. We're going to do a few chatushpadasans, which are half back bends, just lifting up and down. And then we'll go into our halasan sabagasan. So let's go ahead and lie back. Shoulders not going over the blankets. Okay, position yourselves. Make sure the feet are close to the buttocks and that they are as parallel as possible. So no turning out of the toes because that's going to bring the arch to the lower back. I'm trying to keep the lower back really firm. So feet parallel, thighs parallel. Now, press a little bit to your feet, lift your hips up and reach with your hands for your outer ankles. You have to really roll those shoulders back to get to be able to hold the outer ankle. All right, ready with the exhale, lifting up. Chatushpadasana. Chest coming towards the chin. That's it. Lifting up even more. Press the buttocks to the sky. That's it. Good. And three. And two. And one. Coming back down. Ready for our second one. With the exhale. Roll those shoulders back, press the arms down to help the back body to lift up more. And more, and more. That's it, holding it there, good. And three, and two, and one. Coming back down, your legs should be burning from the effort. We have one more of these. Okay, here we go. Ready? Press down with the exhale, lift up. Roll those shoulders back one at a time. Press the arms down, press into the feet. Press the buttocks up, the back ribs up, the shoulder blades up. And three, and two, and one. Coming back down. And releasing, ah, the burn is a good sign. Okay, make sure you know where your strap is and hold it now in preparation in your dominant hand. Okay, make sure you're still in the right position on your blankets. We're going to be rolling up now to Halasan. So use your hands on the mat to help push you. And now go ahead and thread your arms through the strap, like the shoulder openers we did in the beginning of our practice. And then roll the shoulders back and interlock the fingers, thumbs pressing against each other and restretch your arms. Halasana. Now slow the breath down. Be with your breath, count your breath meticulously, like a timer. Count the length of the inhale, count the length of the exhale, get that symmetry going. The legs firm, don't let them get bendy and melt towards you like candles. Keep firmness in the legs, pushing through the feet. Now 
Now change the interlock of your fingers behind the back. Reroll the shoulders back, stretch the arms away from you. Press the arms down. Press the front thighs up. How I said on the other side. Now let's place the hands on the back in preparation to lift up Sarvangasan coming up. Turn the knees up. Lengthen the back heels. And reach with the soles of the feet to the heavens. A few more breath cycles. Keep reaching up. Good. And now let's lower the legs back to Navasana. Really stretch the arms behind you. Interlock the fingers. Roll the shoulders back. Now walk the feet to the right. Parsh the Halasana. Get that beautiful shoulder stretch that it brings. It's kind of like in our shoulder openers when we bring the, the arms to the right to the left. And back to the middle. And now change the interlock of those fingers and walk the legs, the feet to the left. Bash for Halasan. And then back to the middle. You can take the strap off the arms. And we're rolling out. And immediately scooting ourselves back. Have the strap handy. But first of all, just resting here in a Setu Bandha Sadhana which means that our hips 
or on the blankets, but our shoulders and shoulder blades are not. And then the feet are wide, the toes turned in, and the knees resting against each other. The shoulders rolling back for a beautiful final chest opening. And the chin close to the throat, resting here. Jai one breath, absolutely even and symmetrical inhalations and exhalations. And now without moving to so comfy on the floor, let's just lift our hips up a little bit and move those blankets to the side. Ending with a final little Sutta Parangushtasan, but with the legs bent. So lift the right leg up, keep the left leg bent, the left foot on the floor facing forward, the loop on the foot and sliding the hands back, so the arms are straight, the armpits are open, the armpit chest is open. Bring that leg closer. And then the leg back up, changing sides. Left foot into the loop, right foot down. And I'm bringing the left leg closer. And then the leg up, both feet in the loop. Uva prasadita parasana, just the 90 degrees. Legs are perpendicular. Arms are stretched. Spine is completely on the floor. So examine which parts of the spine may be lifting up and press them back down. So the spine is straight and supported by the earth. And then bending the legs, removing the strap, feet to the mat, one final twist. Move the feet a little bit away from you. Lift the right leg up and cross the right knee over the left. Wind that foot around behind, Gadudasan. Supa and Gadudasana twist. And the legs coming to the left. Arms extended in line with the shoulders, twisting and turning to the right. Each exhale, twisting. And the legs back up, releasing the legs, changing sides, left leg over the right. Make sure your feet aren't too close to the buttocks, there needs to be some space for Gavadasana. And then the knees coming over 
to the right, and with an exhalation, twisting and turning to the left. back up and taking a blanket for the neck and head it is now time for Shavasana don't skip Shavasana really important and you could use the rest of your blankets on the thighs because weighted blankets help the muscles to relax so just check with your eyes that your feet are equidistant apart, your body in the middle of the mat, because it would be a pity to get all contorted in the last bit. You want to be nice and even, well placed. Arms extended, shoulders rolling back. We're going to let all this work settle, all the openings we've done, gently closing like petals, not to a place of tight closing, but just beautifully protected. But the inside has a whole new flow, all of the nadis are open, all of the prana is circulating. And so in this last section, no more effort, no more doing, just letting go completely, letting ourselves be held by the earth, our hearts, our front body, open to the sky. So with an exhalation, releasing into that, shall us.
then just lightly moving the feet and the hands and when you feel able, just lifting the hands and resting them on your blankets there. And then moving the hands and resting them one on top of the other in the center of the chest, the spiritual heart. I'm taking a moment to give thanks for this practice, for this time. Allowing that river of gratefulness to flow through us. And then the hands lifting the palms, pressing together, ending with our loving kindness, sending that loving energy out to the universe. Loka samasta sukin ho Om shanti shanti shanti. May the universe know love, may the universe know peace. And may we help all those that we connect with to feel the same. All peace, peace, peace. Shining that love out. That's it. When you feel ready, releasing the hands, the eyes opening. It's a new day in all ways. Remember to come out by rolling over onto the right, not just sitting up over pushing ourselves out and welcome back it's like a rebirth every time after we exit the practice our practice is complete let me know how it was for you if your arms will feel some stuff tomorrow morning your backs as well some nice healthy awakenings there and thank you for joining me hope we'll practice again together soon